Hi friends, welcome to Tutors Funny channel. Today I am going to teach Milk Bar Inventory Management System using Java. So here, first I already opened the NetBeans ID, find new project, select Java, Java application, click next. If it is, check it, create main class, you have to uncheck it. Here I am going to name it as Milk Bar. milk bar okay so here this is the project which is created successfully you have to expand the source folder here select the default package right click new jframe form here i'm going to give the name as milk bar hit finish button your frame has been created you have to increase the size a little bit bigger so your first what i'm going to do is here you have to drag the label over here this label I am going to name it as milk bar milk bar select this one font bold 48 you have to right click properties you have to change the foreground as red perfect after that I am going to drag the panel Likewise, select the panel, right click, border, bevel border or soft bevel border, you have to, it's okay, no problem. Here I am going to do it the stuff is simply, direct label on the panel, this panel. Now here is the first one, strawberry, I just copy this one, select here, edit text. Control with the paste here. You have to type this one as a strawberry. I have to start with the starting from the capital letter. Select this one. Properties. Font. Increase the font size a little bit bigger. 18. Uh, type uh, this one. 24. This one should be bold. Select this one, control C to copy, control V to paste. This one should be the vanilla chocolate. Select this one, control C to control V to paste here. This one should be vanilla. Here, now what I am going to do is you have to select the quantity. It's a quantity box select this one properties select big bold 18 characters edit text backspace to remove the excess instead select again color i am going to change it as background color as black foreground color as yellow you have to change it as Check the control C, copy control V to paste below. Copy control V to paste below. Perfect. Now what I am going to do is you have to drag the combo box. This one should be I am going to uh, this one. Okay, so here we have to properties model. We have a we have to change this one as a one liter, one liter, half liter, after that that's it, one cup. These are the things available. So, control C to copy, control V to paste it. This one also the same. Control C to copy, control V to paste it. This one. We have to, price will be depend on how many liter or uh, half liter or one cup, You uh, according to your choice. Right? So, we need to drag one J table. So as a J table, you are getting from here. Likewise, perfect. Perfect. 
Now here what I am going to do, see here I am going to button call act. Perfect. Now here the final total. So there is no need this one. Okay, I am taking control C to copy control V to paste here. If you want text we are changing it, same text we are just copy and paste it. This one should be the total. This one should be control C copy control V to paste here. This one should be the total. Perfect. Now what I am going to do here is select this one. Change variable. Sorry. Select this one. Table content draws. Select the default one. Select and delete. Select delete. Select delete. Select delete. Select, delete. This one should be item. Quantity price. Total. Right. That's it. Perfect. Now select this one. Properties. Port, generate center, select again properties, uh, sorry, go to source, control F, type UI, metal, type as metal, select again, so okay. Now we have to run and check whether it's working according to the design. It's working according to the design. Okay, it's perfect. Now we have to do the calculation part. Okay, we have to do the calculation part. No problem. Right. Now first what I am going to do here is we have to do the calculation part very simply. This text we have named as txt st means strawberry. This one txt. This all a quantity. Ch chop txt. V A banner. These are the con uh, uh, options. Okay, so this option we have to do it here is simply select this one as like this. Okay, here first one we have to do it here is like this. Select this one. Select this one. Change variable. Uh, this one should be the combo box. C M C B O C B O uh, CBO uh, strawberry ST. This one is because this combo box so that I have named it as CBO. CBO chocolate. This one should be CBO vanilla. Click OK. That's it. That's the thing we have to do. Okay, we have changed the names. This one should be TXT. Text dot total perfect. Now what I'm going to do is uh, we have to do the thing is here we have a choice. So what I'm going to do is we have to do the simple stuff instead of writing I just copy and paste it, double click the add button. Don't worry, I'll be explaining it. First, I have to initialize the variable sum for in order to calculate the final total over here. That is must. After, if the if the uh, if you type strawberry, so instead of that, what I'm going to do is we have to the same thing. You change it as it's very simple. You change it as a instead of the instead of uh, do like this, we have to do it as a checkbox. It's very simple. The option is there. So what I'm going to do is we have to do this same thing. I just copy this one. I just move it. Checkbox. There will be the same thing. You have to make test checkbox. Font we have to increase as bold. So this one should be the story. Same thing as a chocolate as well. 
proceed to copy control bit, get the another copy. You have to paste it here. Right click, edit text, control bit, paste it to chocolate. Uh, where's the chocolate? Chocolate. This one should be started for the capital letter. This one should be vanilla. You have to get rid of this one. Control C to copy, control B to paste below. This one should be vanilla. Perfect. Perfect. Right. Now what I'm going to do is uh, vanilla ch chocolate strawberry. Right. Now here we have to name it as this one also name it as check uh, this checkbox C H K strawberry. This is checkbox. This is a combo box. Okay. That's a different. CHK sorry not change the variable this is not edit text change the variable txt ch chalk chalk van that's the name we have changed it right now what I'm going to do is simply uh, we done all the so far done it so now I'm going to go to the port, right? So first, if the person selects strawberry, so what's the name here given? Why it is the name is I C H K strawberry? I haven't given the name C H K strawberry. If the person select this one, the person select this one. So here, if C H K S T selected, we do the following stuff. So what is the stuff we have selected? This one should be a strawberry. So you have the same name you have to copy and I uh, same name I had put it here strawberry item is a so strawberry price I am going to put it as uh, in order to calculate the price we have so many choices so what I am going to do is we have to add the some thing as well okay the option and all the stuff. So here, here as well. Create the variable quantity over here. Calculate txt. If the if you are selected txt, this one is a quantity. Txt. If, what is the quantity you are typing on this one? It is assigned a quantity variable. So your choice. Choice means the CB option. This one is the CBO st. Your option. It's equal to if it is a one liter the same thing you just copy and paste it otherwise it won't work but you are written here same thing you have to apply it one liter one liter the price will be calculated the one liter price so one liter price will be hundred you have to calculate like this Okay, if it is a else if, if it is a VBO, half liter, you have to calculate the half liter price. Now here, what I am going to do, see here, here I am going to calculate one liter. One liter means one meter price I am going to provide here is this one should be the you have to do here one one meter price I am going to put is 200 so you have the quantity one liter will be calculated one liter price will be uh, 200 if it is by more than that you will be able to do it okay so if it is a half liter so here the price should be here like this Half liter. Okay. If it is a one else, if it is a one cup price, you have to do it here as a cal equal one cup. One cup is a fifty. Okay, fifty. Fifty. Okay. So uh, how many quantity? You have to put the quantity. That's it. How many quantity? Fifty cup uh, should buy. Okay, that's the thing we have to do. It. That's the thing we have to do the calculation part. Okay, this one we no need this one quantity, uh, all the stuff, right? So finally, we have to do the stuff is tot. We have to calculate the total. 
we have to in order to calculate the total okay so is okay here is it's calculated cal okay it, it will be calculated the cal okay here calculate the cal cal so here this model what is the problem is we have to import the default table model over here that's the problem okay here you have to just copy this one import a table can access every day model g table the first one we have to print on this one item on the j table second one is a quantity what is the quantity you are entered this is a quantity what's the quantity you are entered here after that price what is the price okay you have to uh, put the price okay the we have the quantity so we have the uh is a quantity continue with this one item second one is a quantity price okay now here uh, quantity what is the quantity you are typing here it will be assigning to the cal vary uh, the quantity variable over here so here in order to calculate the price so how to calculate them these are the price instead of that you have to put the price into the variable it's simple the price so the price getting here if it is liter the price should be 200 so this price here you have to put it here but the price you are assigning it is here you have to put it here. the same thing you have to put it here as well this is the price this price coming here here we have a different this here as a one cup price will be different it's a 50 so the price assigned here it is coming like this okay now it's simple but the price what is some price you are entered here it's coming here so cal is a final total okay right now let's check whether it's working fine or not check here i leave another mistake over here this one the half liter so yeah we no need this one this calculator we no need this them the half liter uh, price should be 100 so you have the quantity uh, quantity we no need the price okay that's it we no need the calculation but leave it as it is okay right simply you have to do it here as uh, what is the error Cal the five price 200 the two the calculation part of here here is not a you have to put it as milliliter here it's not a half one liter milliliter okay so your choice simply you have to change this one as a milliliter that's a problem one liter is a milliliter so here one liter or liter you just select as here liter or milliliter just liter that's that was a problem so all the stuff you have to make like this liter milliliter this also liter milliliter that was a problem now the problem will be solved okay now we will be able to see here the answer liter or milliliter okay now you will be able to see the answer one liter strawberry or two liter the problem is here here liter to milliliter okay right now let's check one liter strawberry sorry one liter strawberry here if it is 2 liter by if it is a 500 milliliter by here this is the price so if it is a 1 cup by 2 cup by surprise it's working according to it okay the same thing you have type over here as well okay, the, that's why i have do it this one with you with uh, along with the error okay here here 
first if the if you check box if you click this check box what happen is it assigned to the variable here item you have to implement three variables so if you are what is the content you are given it assigned to this variable after your check if the user select this one this check box sorry this combo box so this is the name which name is the l if there if you choose as l liter do the following uh, calculation but if the user select as milliliter do this following calculation if the user select as one cup we have to do this calculation part. right so this time we have to do it okay so one cup means you have to you have to change uh, as cup okay but right? this how we have to do the calculation part. the same thing you have to apply here as well as here as well if not this one if second option will be chocolate so you have to change it as chocolate so it's go chocolate choco other things are the same i have a change it as only the price only that's it it will work second thing the third one should be control c copy control v to say this one should be the vanilla is vanilla copy and paste it is a vanilla this is vanilla sorry it's vanilla but it's a chalk box well b b a l well i think well what's the name we have given van van vanilla price should be you have to make it as 80 80 30 cup price will be 30 okay that's it okay then finally we have to uh, calculate the total final total so you have to write the for loop you already create the variable sum above when i start the program over here sum you have for loop it okay this a thing sum equal integer passing table get value at uh, i 3 mean starting from 0 1 2 3 third portion we have to calculate the column values okay so print here as a final total over here this is one should be txt dot that's it now let's execute the program and check whether it's working fine or not strawberry 2 liter what first 2 liter final total why why is not displaying 2 liter and uh, chocolate 1 liter 1 milli uh, 100 uh, 500 ml see what's the problem out here the problem is here uh, the problem is here the dot you have made as int is not int you have to make it as double that's a problem sum as double you have to coming as double that's a problem so double so also double mean you have to convert here as a double double pass it Strawberry, two liter, we're working fine. Okay, if it's a chocolate, five hundred milliliter, working fine. Okay, now here we have to add it like this. Okay, strawberry one liter, and five uh, hundred liter, 
chocolate 500 liter millimeter and vanilla here also I am I need vanilla one cup two cups cups okay it's working perfectly well okay it's working perfectly well I hope you guys you understood the things this is all the source code I provide in my website you will be able to use it to your project thank you for watching if you have any doubt you can let me know that thank you for watching